the more context you give to an LLM, the better it is at generating code. This is why I like to use Windsurf because it has more context over my overall code base than Cursor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can give more context if you're using a uh, backend as a service like Superbase. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So essentially, in order to do that, you need to head over your Superbase SQL editor and create uh, different queries that will allow you to give enough context. So there are different types of context that you want to give. You want to give it full schema context. So you need understand your table, column, and anything of the sort. You want to give it context about table constraint and relationship context. Uh, policy context, which is super important in uh, Superbase, especially with all their RL uh, policies for security. And then you want to give it dependency context and function context. Um, so I'm going to show you one by one how I do it for each of these. So first of all, how do I do it for full schema context? So it's actually copy these codes in my query. This is the code that I've created so that I can get the full schema for my projects. And I come over here and I've already created those query. And when I create the query, essentially I just add it to my favorite by clicking, there's like a, a heart uh, icon right here. It usually shows without the drop down, And I just added it in my favorite. And when you run this query, it essentially give a full schema of your projects. It can just head over here and export it in Markdown. So why am I doing Markdown? That's because your LLM understand Markdown better than any type of, of content. It's easier for it to, to parse the content and understand what's going. So I always export it in Markdown. And once you've done that, you can literally head over to something like ChatGPT if you're not using something like Cursor or Windsurf. And you can just, you know, add all the context and start asking questions about it. For example, are there any RLS policies issues? And then, and then because now you have like full context of your codes, oh, this one was too long. Uh, okay, so that's an issue. One is complaining about uh, context. So you can use something else, like a different model that won't complain about it. I usually don't have an issue with that when I'm running it in my code. So let's try it with Windsurf. For example, um, right here I was going to do, I have some concern about my Superbase RLS policies. The database role level security RLS is not properly configured. So I can just head over and just paste it like that. And I have selected the toggle chat and I can just ask question about it. So let's see, it's going to inspect it and give me an answer, see? So, okay, I'll help you analyze and set up proper rules level securities. And right away, because he got enough context, he's going to just generate all the security policies for me right away. And that's kind of how I do it. Uh, one thing I like to do is in my code, I always have like an instruction file where I give more more context to the application about my, my projects, you know, the different component of it and so on. And I've created uh, a super base folder where I actually give him context. And then usually what I'll do is I copy that 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 uh, response and then I, I and I paste it in, in one of those files. So full schema, dependencies, constraint and relationship or policies. And this way because uh, WinStuff has really good uh, context of your code. If I can either like just refer this file, add it in my WinSurf uh, rules, which you can access over here. You can just head over to edit rules. And then I can just tell it that, oh, by the way, make sure to always check the context of the database before you do anything. And there are different ways that you can do that. You can also use Superbase CLI, you know, work in development. You'll have all your Superbase migration locally and you'll have, you'll have context of your migration. And actually, you might notice that when you run a code related to Superbase, it sometimes checks the migration file right away to check the state of your, of your database. And then one way you can do it is, for example, you can have one single migration that literally has all the context of your application in, in, in one go. And you can also look at this file and inspect it in order to get context over uh, your whole application. Uh, that's another way to do it. So the other thing that you can get is uh, the, let's review my note, the table and constraint relationship context, which is going to list all the table constraint, which is actually rule that defines certain condition for data in the table. And if you're wondering what it looks like, here are some common type of constraint. It can be like your primary key, foreign key, 
unique dot null checks and default and so on. And if you copy that, you can edit over here. And then I've already done that. So I already have it here as, as my favorite. I can just generate all these logics right away. And again, just go over, copy as Markdown and export it. And I've done that for everything from my full schema, table and constraint. I have the policy one, which will list all my row level uh, security policies. This is the thing that we just did early on when I pasted here for, for this for this file. I believe, let's see, I believe where that was the schema maybe. So, so for example, for this one, and this is going to show you another great feature of WinServe, I can just head back because what I actually meant to paste was not only my schema, but also my my policy. So I forgot to to specify it. So in WinServe, what you can do essentially, you can revert to that version. So you, you just confirm the revert. It will revert to that previous version, which is like amazing. And I can just specify that this is my full schema here, full schema. So you have context of my full schema. And now we can head over uh, the SQL, generate the markdown for, for the policies and export it as markdown head back here and I can say policies. Because when I generated earlier, it, it had context of my full schema, but it didn't have context of my policies. So you might have generated policies that I didn't even need. And I, it has happened in the past where it suggests policies to add to my super base, but those policies are not necessary because I already have, I have that in my code, but it didn't have enough context. So very, very important to give it enough context. So let's submit this and see what it generates now. You can see that I'm in chat mode right now. Um, so I so it's not going to do anything yet. I just want to get some some insight. So it's checking everything, analyzing the full schema. Is and then as I mentioned earlier, sometimes it will check your your schema in that document. As I mentioned, uh, preferably we we'll, I, I would recommend to ask it to skip it and just focus on those one only. So so if the two don't match, you don't get into an issue where it's not doing the right thing. But right now, for in my context, they both match. And after that, it's analyzed the codes and it notices all the issues, table without RLS policies. So it tells me which one they are. Um, issue embedding, because I'm using uh, embedding, OpenAI embedding, and then uh, authentication check. So it's, it notices all the issues and it just lists them for me. So I can now copy those policies and head over to Superbase and essentially just create new query and, and add them. So yeah, so, so I'm going to make all of these uh, this uh, codes sample available for you so you can get all the context even for dependency context i can show you what this one will re return so it will return a dependency context like that and essentially this is uh how one object relies on to another uh, to function so it could be primary key foreign key uh dependency so if for example you want to check the age of something before you do something on the, on the table and also the function context so Sometimes you create function to make it easier to do something in your database and you want to know, oh, what are all the functions that I've defined in my code? This is the code that you run in order to get that. And it will return all the functions that you've created uh, for authentication and so on, including the actual definition that you have. And then you can also give it to, to, uh, to your LLM so that you get really good context with it. So usually I don't have issues pasting things here, but I guess uh, this model doesn't have enough context. I've done that a lot with O1 when I think about it, which has a much bigger window. Um, I don't want to use my O1 credit right now because I re literally maxed them out. But you can use it for something if you have a much bigger context window. And sometimes it is is not as long when you're doing it for like, let's say for example, for policies. So if I were to do that for policies, let's head over here. And I, uh, sorry, I run selected, export, copy to Markdown, and I can say, uh, uh, can you uh, analyze this? Is any policy missing? And let's see if it works. Yeah, let's see. And then there you go. And then now it's writing the policy that I'm missing in this logics. Yeah. So that's key. this is kind of like what you can do with this. And like I said, I'm going to make this public. You can get the links in the description below, and then you can get access to that right away. And all you have to do, like I said, is just copying this thing, adding it to a create new snippet, and make sure to save it so it's already always accessible. I literally generate that like multiple times a day. I find it super helpful. It has helped me 
building my application much faster and ensuring that uh, WinServe or Cursor don't make as many mistakes when it's running code for my application. So super, super helpful. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.